Yo guys, welcome back, it's Jack Master Flash, this is Belgium, this is another wet set up video and the reason why there's only been wet set up videos this week is because I've been away. Um, but normal service will resume next week, there is no league racing videos, there is nothing other than set up videos, unfortunately, but you can understand why. So, Belgium. Spa de Franco Champ. I don't know if you guys know, but I've said it before, Belgium is my absolute most favourite circuit in the world. It really, really is. Um, and you'll see what I mean in the setup. This is the circuit that I know the best. This is the circuit that I know um, that I'm good on, or I'm, I'm fairly okay on. Um, and that's why I'm not worried about the fact that get the bot ass has got me by nearly a second you have to bear in mind that um, the AI when you're racing them regardless of whatever level they are uh, they tend to burn all their ERS on the first lap um, so I'm not too bothered about bot ass being that far in front I know that I've got it in me to catch him and, and get by him and you'll see what I mean I think by the end of this race I think I end up leading um, by three or four seconds which in hindsight probably should have upped the difficulty level from 104 it's looking like I need to um, but we'll see we'll see what happens going forward um, but yeah I'm only half a second behind him now uh, going into um, I think it's no name I think it corner no neck I can't remember what the corner's name is you can see how fast I've gone through sector two as I actually posted the purple sector and bear in mind uh, it's normally the car in front in the clean air that posts the purple sector rather than uh, yours truly so yeah Belgium absolutely love it absolutely go to track in my opinion um, and as going into uh, bus stop I managed to get around the outside of Bottas which is very very nice indeed make sure I leave him a space traction coming out of the bus stop chicane there is extremely difficult it really is you have to be uh, so gentle even in the dry that's without it being uh, wet conditions and I mean it's really wet as you can see I've got the blue tires on um, just like I did in uh, Hungary and yeah it's it's crazy uh, after lift off going up um, Radion, Eau Rouge Radion uh, and that's simply because I don't want to bin it I have tried a setup where you can go flat out um, however if you increase the wings it means that obviously you get slower straight line speed and if you touch the curves you will spin regardless of, of what wings you run i found that when the the sharp left right uh motion that you have to do um puts too much through the steering wheel or through much too much through the car and that you just lose the rear end I, i've tried it many times um believe me i've raced belgium a lot um hence the reason why i always lift always lift uh, regardless, even if the car could take it, <clears throat> when you get further on into the race and you get increased tire wear, that's when um, things become tricky, really tricky. And you you might be able to do it nine out of ten laps, but on that one lap, you will absolutely lose it and you'll end up DNFing into a barrier, and nobody wants that, right? But <clears throat> this is why I love Spa so much is because it's one of those circuits where it's such a long lap, um, such great fast flowing free corners uh, with the odd slow uh, mixed in chicane. But yeah, I absolutely love it. You know the story by now, I've um, been saying it long enough. Setups are obviously a guide uh, as I just done a 56.7. Uh, setups are only a guide you have to make sure that you tweak it to suit yourselves um, you know you, you could bolt the setup on and just run away with it you absolutely couldn't it, it might work for you uh, but you could bolt it on and it could make you slower or it could be awful for you to run in a race you you see uh, every setup the video that I've done since <clears throat> uh, since October, every set of video I've done since October, those are the actual setups that I use in uh, my league races. Um, and the reason why I say only since October is because we have had about four, uh, four um, performance patches in total. 
so obviously every time a performance patch comes out the, the setup needs a little bit more downforce um, so yeah so every race I've done since October this or these are the setups that they've used in the race and you know for those who are saying that the setup is not good well that's okay um, it, it's good for me and if it's good for one person well then I feel that the setup has done its job but uh, yeah love absolutely love Spark I'd love to hear your fastest track um, or, or best track like I said mine is Spa and it always will be uh, would absolutely love to go to Spa uh, go to Belgium to watch an actual uh, league race but I feel that is another lifetime away I really do um, but yeah just going at the bus stop you've got to be so careful on attraction probably short shift to fourth um, as you can see look at the back end of the car squirming around as I managed to go even faster just done a 56.5 so that's nearly two tenths quicker than, than, than my lap on um, on lap two so you know I'm, I'm quite happy with that time especially with the conditions the conditions are awful um, which is what we like right <laughs> but yeah as always guys you know the drill by now the setup is at the end do all that good stuff like hit that like button hit that subscribe button there's more content to come and there will be not only will I be doing F1 2022 this year I will also be doing the F1 manager um, on PC uh, will be getting as much of that up as I possibly can so yeah stay tuned for that and we'll see if we can't uh, take a a bog standard Formula One team and make them eight times world champion, maybe. Highly doubt it, but we'll see. It's going to be a lot of trials, tribulations, and failures. I can guarantee you that. Guys, wherever you are in the world today, take care. Hope that you're having a good one, and I'll catch you in the next one. Normal service will be resumed next week.
have won it, and what a great race it was. Talk to me, Ant. What was it that set them apart from the competition today? Well, keeping their tyre temperatures up in the tricky, wet conditions was really important. There's not much grip out there at the best of times, and it's ten times worse if you're out there on cold tyres. So the way they kept the rubber in its proper operating window was a huge advantage today. And I can see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations. A real team victory today. Everybody played their part. Congratulations then to Mercedes, your race winners today. Today. After an incredible performance, Lewis Hamilton secures the top spot in the Drivers' Championship. Some amazing talent out on the track today, but Anthony, who would you pick as your driver of the day? Lance Stroll certainly put in an impressive performance today. No doubt his team and fans are extremely proud. Well, Anthony...